The more videos we do in this series, the less faith we have in the next company we do. Well, Digital Storm, you're up. This company is quite different from the other ones we've done so far. They cater to much more of a premium market, while the other pre-built manufacturers like iBuyPower and LightPC target a lower end market. This is shown not only in the price of their computers, but in the quality of the buying experience itself. Just take a look at the packaging of this computer. It could kill an entire species of sea turtle. This isn't necessarily a bad thing though. It shows that they care about your computer getting to you in one piece, while other manufacturers have some questionable packaging. With that being said though, Digital Storm has the best packaging out of any other pre-built manufacturer that we've seen so far. We would have to say with the packaging and the clean look of their website, they're off to a pretty good start. But it's only when you look a little deeper into their website that you find some problems. First off, their advertisements are extremely old. The clip we just showed you is over 6 years old and the others listed on their website aren't much newer. Second off, they don't have that big of a selection of computers. This isn't necessarily a bad thing, but it limits what potential customers would buy. Also, what is a premium air cooler, and what makes it so premium? Getting away from the little things that we found odd, we can take a look at the most important part of their business, their computers. They have three different sections to choose from. These include desktops, laptops, and workstations. We looked at their Lynx standard mid-tower computer and compared it to the Starter Pro PC from NZXT. They are fairly similar computers, but there are a few key differences. The NZXT Prevolt has a much stronger GPU and the 3060 Ti, but going in the other direction, the Lynx has an i7 compared to the i5 in the NZXT build. Another thing to note is that you get double the storage in the NZXT build. The Lynx only gives 500GB of storage and doesn't specify that it's NVMe M.2, while NZXT does. Overall, the more balanced computer is the Lynx build, but NZXT is where you'll get more for your money based solely on the cost of the 3060 Ti. A big thing we noticed is that Digital Storm is very vague when it comes to the listing of their parts for all their pre-built computers. For example, the motherboard for the Lynx computer was not specified on the type of motherboard it was, and it doesn't even label the manufacturer of the board either. Now we can move along to the laptops. We're going to be comparing the laptops, I mean laptops, sold by Digital Storm to the one sold by CyberPower. Digital Storm has only two laptop choices, and with one of them being out of stock, your choices are quite slim. CyberPower has an extremely large quantity of laptops to choose from, and we picked the one that's the closest price along with the same screen size as the Digital Storm Avon. Comparing them both against each other, we see a few key differences in CyberPower's favor. They have a 3080 in the laptop compared to the 3070 in Digital Storm's laptop. CyberPower also has slightly faster RAM and has a few more hertz in its 15.6 inch display. We like to note that the CyberPower laptop is slightly more expensive than its Digital Storm counterpart, but the difference in price is not accurate to the difference in performance, which means CyberPower takes this category. The final category that we need to work through are the workstations. This is a category that we have not seen yet in any other pre-built manufacturer so far, so we're going to be comparing it to building it yourself. On the workstation page, they have three different computers that are good for three different tasks, which is something that we thought was pretty cool because it allows the customer to choose the computer that they want based on what they're using it for, and not necessarily because of the parts they have in the computer. We went with the studio version of the workstation because it would be the one that we would use, because, well, we make YouTube videos like once a month. The first thing that we noticed about the Digital Storm pre-built was the power supply they chose for you was not strong enough for the computer. It gave us a warning message saying that we would need to upgrade the power supply, which would add another $91 to the order. Comparing the workstation to the one that we built, we could see a slight problem. That problem would be the $750 difference between the two. We have no idea where this price comes from, but if a one-year warranty is worth $750 to you, this is the perfect workstation for you. The computer build itself is balanced and obviously a strong computer, but that doesn't mean anything when you look at the price difference of building it yourself. We even tried to help them out a little bit. We put a much more expensive case and a full price Windows activation and even made both SSDs NVMe M.2, and it still didn't make a difference. Overall, Digital Storm is a company known for their build quality, and there are just no arguments there. But if you're looking to build a computer for yourself, we would say, go anywhere else. Out of all the other scam videos we've done, this is the worst one by far when it comes to the price in comparison to building it yourself, and it's not even close.